So um, my parents kept me in school all year round. I went to Sacred Heart University um, for Upper Bound uh, uh, programs. And um, from there, I hated school. Not gonna lie, school wasn't for me. I knew that I didn't want to work for nobody because I don't like to take orders from people. And I learned that very early on as a child, not listening. What I'm gonna say is a lot of people know me for doing here, but I'm more than just here. A lot of you guys don't even know the electronics and stuff that you guys play with today. I play a part in that. I worked for many big companies, made a lot of money with a lot of big companies. Um, I'm gonna share this. I never really let anybody touch this, so please do not take it out of the classroom. This right here, me and my team, there's about 2,000 of us in total. We did one billion hours of operation building submarine electronics so you guys can look at that that was a big accomplishment for me growing up growing up my father pushed college a lot he made it seem like college was the only way if i didn't go to college in his eyes he felt like i wasn't gonna be <clears throat> i had to prove my father wrong i worked for a company for 10 years i gave this company my all day and night blood sweat and tears for this company this company stressed me out to the fullest I realized coming into this quarantine, I was challenged. Somebody asked me, come up with 39 things that you want to be. It took me four days and I'm still not finished. And I started to realize I've already done those 39 things that I want to be. I have several businesses starting from a transportation service to doing hair, to um, coming into people's businesses, helping them enhance their businesses. I also I'll have my hands tied into a lot of things. I have a podcast, I'm on YouTube. Um, I've had the opportunity to work close and personal with News 12, recording my son's business. Um, if you guys don't know about that, he has a business maybe one day, he'll, he'll tell you about that himself. But I wanna tell you something, don't give up. There's a lot of opportunity out here. Open your mouth. That's the one thing I'm gonna say. Open your mouth and speak up. That was one thing I didn't do when I was younger. I did not speak up. I didn't challenge my parents. I just did what they told me to do and that was it. I'm not telling you guys to go home and be disrespectful, not at all. But if it's something that you're not into, please reach out. Your parents need to listen. We wanna explore, especially with my son, whatever he's interested in, I'm on board 100%. I didn't have that as a kid. For them, it was go to college, stay in this company, let them give you a, a pension plan and retire. That's not my way. I'm an entrepreneur and I'm not used to taking on I like to get one. So um, what I wanted to leave you guys with, because I'm gonna keep it short and sweet, is speak up. If it's something that you don't like or something that you wanna try, try it. Don't limit yourself. Because what you're gonna end up doing is short changing your pocket. You guys right now at between the ages of five and who's the oldest here? Like 15. Okay, between the ages of five and 15, have potential to make a lot of money. Especially now. You don't have to work on your goal right now, but you can work on small steps to reach your goal. For instance, my son, he has a lawnmower business that he wants to start. My son started selling snacks for a dollar. In his first three days, you there. Okay, you came and visited. In his first three days, him and his business partner, they made a ton of money, more than what most people make in a week. Don't stop, don't give up. I also want to tell you guys this, being a leader, setting an example, you cannot follow your friends. Your friends don't want to see you win. You want to know who wants to see you win? Those friends that say, I'm coming to support your business. I'm there for you no matter what. No matter if you sink or if you swim, I'm there. Those are your friends. Don't be a follower. I had a lot of friends coming into the year. I had zero friends, maybe one, two coming now. I had to learn to sacrifice my friendships to get where I want to be. I'm gonna show you guys something because I'm home on a leave right now. This quarantine is making me choose between what I thought was gonna be best for me and what I know is gonna make me rich. My business. My parents raised me by this. I'm working two jobs in school full time, running several businesses, mother of two. That speaks a lot of value. This right here, yes, it seems important for benefits, but I don't like being told what to do, so I have to figure it out here with my business. I like giving the orders. 
And what I want to tell you guys is that don't give up. You have to keep pushing. You have to keep pushing. You like basketball? Yes. How bad do you like basketball? A lot. If I told you today, you can't play basketball unless you stop hanging with this person, will you do it? Yes. That's how much you love basketball? I want you to apply that to your life for other things that are, are distracting you right now. Anybody have a business here? What's your business? Body butter. How long you been in business for? Five months. Five months? In the last five months, how would you say your business is going? Good so far? Now, what could you do to improve your business? Prime example, because I was getting right into that. Speaking up. Do you guys know that she sells a body butter? Yes, yes. How many of y'all didn't know? Besides Kalu and me. Right, so now that you guys do know, it's all about support. Be there for her, support her, even if you don't have the means to have the money to give it to her. Tell somebody about it. We're a family here. You guys see me at the practices, sometimes you don't. It's because I'm very busy. You guys have the potential to be whatever you want to be. Don't let anybody limit you. When I tell you I was into everything, I was into everything. I'm gonna give you a few ideas. I started off singing, then I started rapping. For those of for those of the people who know me in my younger years, they know me for being in the studio. You couldn't touch me with the bar. Don't ask me, don't put me on the spot. Because I know one of y'all gonna do it. I know one of y'all gonna do it. But here's the thing, I'm not giving up on that dream. Eventually I will revisit that but I shied back based off of what other people were saying. I let other people's opinions control my movement. You can't do that no more. So from today forward, basketball is your heart, give it your all. I see a lot of y'all playing around, y'all clacking. One thing I'm gonna say, I'm big on fitness. Real big. Here on out, when y'all out here running, I'm running behind y'all. I'm the last person. If you're in front of me, I'm pushing you. I'm not going ahead pushing behind you and I'm not pushing you to be mean in any kind of way. I'm pushing you to show you I'm not going to stop and I'm not going to let you go. Because that's what a family does. A family is there by all means. One last thing. I have a life skills class that I was working on. I was teaching kids of the, uh, the importance of money. How many of y'all spend money on people? I know y'all know what it is. Y'all play Fortnite? They know, know it. Fortnite, but okay, y'all know what it is. Okay. Right. I know what it is. So now, imagine the money that you're spending on people, right? They ain't even spending it. It's parents. Right, it's parents uh. spending it. Without knowing. My credit card exactly. is leaking. So I'm going to use this as a, a really good example. My son at 11 years old realized that I started investing in stocks. want to invest in Bitcoin, it's a gamble that you want to play. So now, what he what he did was, I had him do a little research on Bitcoin. Of course, you need your parent help to invest in this. If you don't have a parent, talk to somebody. Open your mouth. There's other adults out here willing to help you get to your dreams. Talk to me. I may, I may be able to point you to somebody who can help you. So um, anyways, he started investing into this Bitcoin, right? Now he's not sinking his dollars into this Fortnite game. All this time, he's been wasting hundreds of dollars, this whole quarantine on Fortnite and V-Bucks and this, that, and the third. He's not making anything off of that. So now he, he wants to be smarter. He invests his money in Bitcoin. Bitcoin now allows him to make money and play and buy V-Bucks off of the interest. So imagine, save your money and invest. I'm gonna come up with a class for you guys. It's gonna be real good. And I actually want to take some ideas because if I can get more than one thing going, we're going to do it all. But I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Who has my coin? Yes, let me get that back. This is real important. This is a big deal for me. This, With this, I didn't get this by itself. A check came with this. A lot of people can't pull this off. It's a big deal to me. However, it's making me choose between what I think is right or help it if we don't get some. Don't slide it. Just walk away. Fast as I've seen you move. So, <laughs> right now I'm choosing between what my parents told me was gonna make me wealthy when I get older. Hmm? Get it. 
always choose your passion and don't let nobody distract you. Cool? We gotta keep it short and sweet. You guys can talk to me anytime. I'm gonna give each one of you my business cards. If you just want an ear to vent to, I can do that. I'm also a foster mom. For those of you who don't know, I've taken on many kids. I've dealt with behaviors from those who don't want to listen to kids who are just off the wall. And to some really good kids too. So I'm here for all that. If you guys want to have a one-on-one, -on -one, you're not feeling good, you want a business idea, you just want to chop it up, come this aside, no problem. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, the bee is going to bother. But that's it. I'm going to keep it real short for you guys. Clap so you guys it up! Yeah, all right, middle of the court, balls, make sure. Make sure Ms. Lisa has a ball, a couple balls. Put your ties and all that down for a minute. Yeah, yeah, I already know, I already know. That's why I was like, yeah, yeah. Now you know I'm telling you, you just kept taking a while. Now I can see it, like, the show we're watching. So now I know. Like, hey, and then you see it. Come on, come on, come on. So, ball, middle of the court, let's go. Let's line up good. Then we got a meeting. Come on, come on, come on. We got a meeting with everybody. Then we got a meeting with just, you know, reverb. Make sure you guys are good. Make sure you guys are good. Make sure you guys are good. Come on, come on, let's get set up. Make room for it. Yeah, somebody hold that. Matter of fact, whoever in the front. Yeah, y'all two hold that. Okay, y'all two hold that. Give me Lisan. Lisan there. Jalil there with the ball and Khalil on the knee. Here. You should have a ball, Khalil, and on the knee. Please set up. No, I want y'all having a, a thing like that. You hold the back over you at the front. Hold it out like that. Yeah. All right, come on, guys, real quick. Eli, man, let's go.